Good morning. I tried using this tripod in the kitchen to film and it was very crooked. I don't know why, Jesus Christ. I'm so sorry for the intensity. Okay, I really do need to start making breakfast. I can finally have like a nutritious meal. Where's my bacon? There it is. Cause I went to Aldi and pick and save the last two days. Finally, I was finally able to go. I didn't have anything weird, random, whatever happened holding me back. I'm not the biggest fan of turkey bacon, yet I keep buying it, so let's do a little grocery haul whilst I pull this turkey out. I hate filming in this kitchen because the light comes from this direction, but there's nowhere to put the camera over there so that I can stand like this and actually have good lighting. So I guess I'll just fucking suffer and die. How about this? What, go on top of the coffee maker? I forgot that I also got a block of mozzarella cheese and then I got a pack of chicken thighs, chicken breast, and no, that was it. Just a little quick little story time while I forget about my bacon and burn it. The gods were not on my side yesterday. So I go to Aldi, right? And you know, they have the little carts where you put the little quarter into the little slot and then you can take it out and you can use your little cart. And then when you're done, you put the cart back and you pop it in th the slot into the thingy and you get your quarter back. Well, as I'm walking up, I have my quarter ready in my hand and I see some lady walking up and she's vaping. And I kind of like glanced at her and I was like, I'll just give her my quarter, you know, like that's, that's what you do. So I was like, are you done? Like, here you go, take my quarter please so I can have your cart. And she kind of had this look on her face when she like, like when she nodded, like, I don't know. I don't know if it was like a smirk or like, she, like she was doing like a little like hee hee ha ha in her head, but I gave her the quarter and I'm like, thank you. And I start walking into Aldi and I look down and there's no fucking quarter slot. <laughs> there's no fucking quarter slot. I literally like, I was, I was flabbergasted. I wasn't even like mad. I was just like, this bitch really stole my quarter. And then I go to check out and I was like talking to the cashier. I was like, I'm just gonna put this cart over here because it doesn't have a coin slot thingy and some lady stole my quarter. See, I mean, at least I got my quarter back because I got a different cart. So that's, that's all fine there. I just like a quarter really. Oh, but it doesn't end there. And then I get home and I'm unpacking everything. And I had got a thing of Greek yogurt and there was no lid on it and there's a hole poked into the fucking film and i was like how did i not fucking notice this i don't know i think i was just like running on adrenaline when i went to aldi so yeah that was my fun experience this is why i don't like going in public and going shopping and uh my bacon is a little bit burnt but
before I go to bed, I just want to show you guys the ridiculous shit I have to do sometimes. <laughs> so my tinnitus has been acting up, tinnitus, tinnitus, however you want to say it, okay? I feel a need to say that every time I say tinnitus because I know I'm going to get a comment like it's pronounced tinnitus. It doesn't matter. Okay, anyways, <laughs> it's been acting up in this ear like a Morse code beeping and I can pretty much handle it when it's like a high pitch ring or a low hum, but when it does this like sporadic beeping, I can't really handle that. It's not that I can't handle it, it's more so like when I'm trying to go to bed is when it like really bothers me. If I'm just like out and about or like even like editing, I can still kind of hear it, but like it doesn't bother me. But like for some reason when I go to sleep, I just like fixate on it and I can't sleep. So anyways, this is the dumbest thing, but it works. I bought one of these uh, headband things that has like, what is, where is it? Like a speaker, like you put, you, you're supposed to wear it around your head. I'll show you. You're supposed to wear it like this. But firstly, this looks ridiculous. Secondly, it doesn't even cover my ears. Like, okay, first of all, this ear is right here and the speaker's like at the back of my head and this one's on my ear. So kind of, kind of fucked there. And also it's not even, if I wanted to like fully cover my ears, it has to be like this and I'm not sleeping like that. The reason I bought it, if I'm like flip flopping sides, I can't just like wear a headphone in this ear if I'm laying on it because then it gets smushed into my ear and it doesn't feel good. So instead I just take this and I lay on it and I, I'll have like white noise playing on this on repeat all night and then I watch stuff on my laptop and then I don't hear it. That's all the shit that I have to do just to go to bed. <laughs> that being said, it is nighty night time for me. I'm also just like completely hunched over like a gremlin talking to you guys. Wait, let me... Immaculate posture. You know, it's amazing how just doing like a few small things can make you feel so accomplished. I ended up stopping at AutoZone because my right headlight is out. I don't know what it is, but it's like once a year, one headlight will go out and it's typically every other one, like they take turns. Last year it was the left one and now it's the right. You know you don't get fed until four and it's 3.43. And then I stopped at Walgreens because I had a prescription to pick up. I also stayed like an hour later at work today, not because I needed to. I mean, we were busy, so I did stay just in case they got busy again because it was only two people, but alas, they were not busy. I just also needed some extra hours because on Monday, no, not Monday, Tuesday, I left early. I just had a tummy ache. So I literally only worked for like two hours on Tuesday. So I just stayed that extra hour to make up for it because I lost like three hours, I think. So yeah, stayed an extra hour every day after. Yeah, just, just those small things. I'm like, wow, I feel really good right now. Tomorrow I have a meeting with the owners at my job. So my mom and I are just gonna carpool there. And then afterwards, I think she wants to do some shopping. So we're gonna do that. And then also I wanna go to pick and save because that yogurt I got was fucked up. So I wanna get new yogurt, new yogurt. So I wanna get new yogurt. Why is that hard to say? So I wanna get new yogurt. I also wanna get cilantro because I'm planning on making like a, like a turkey, what am I saying? A turkey, sweet potato, black bean, whatever, like taco bowl tomorrow. I have everything for it except for cilantro and I'm not eating tacos without cilantro. If you have the soap gene, I'm so sorry for you, but I don't know her. My mother came in interrupted me so that I could help her change her sheets. So I kind of forgot where I left off. I was in the middle of talking kind of headlight. I was talking about the headlight. Yeah, I did that. And then I went to Walgreens to pick up my prescription because uh, this tattoo that I got, for some reason, I just got the weirdest rash around it. And I know it's possible to like maybe be allergic to like ink and everything. And that's the thing is that with my scorpion tattoo and my snake tattoo, I did get like a little rash around it. <laughs> But it was like nothing like how this was. Why am I, hold on, how, how am I holding this? It started like wrapping around my forearm and I just started taking Benadryl and hydrocortisone. And then I messaged my dermatologist and they sent over like a stronger anti-itch steroid prescription and told me to start doing that. So yeah, thankfully like it's not that bad today. You can still see like some redness there. It's on my wrist too there. That's pretty much how it looked like. Like right there, right there, around there. And then this part, 
It's kind of bad. It's it's a little bit bad, but it's better than it was, thankfully. It was also really weird because it wasn't on the tattoo at all. It was only around it. And weirdly enough, like some of the marks didn't actually show up until I scratched it. Like the one on my wrist, it was not there this morning, but I scratched this morning and all of a sudden all those bumps appeared. So I don't know what's going on with my body. <laughs> I also was supposed to get an endoscopy this upcoming Monday. Is it endoscopy or endoscopy? Whatever. Um, the thing where they stick the tube down your throat and then look at things. I was supposed to get it on Monday, but then they called me and they said my insurance didn't cover it at that specific location. So now I had to get it done at a different location. I don't know how health insurance works, okay? I like read over the pamphlet 10,000 times and even still it will cover things where I'm like, I thought you said you're not supposed to cover it. Okay, whatever, I guess. So it got pushed back like two weeks and so now it's not till like a Friday. No, I think it's Wednesday. Okay, so Wednesday I have that appointment and then Friday is the TMJ appointment two weeks from now. I just have to take off for the entire day and I have to have somebody drive me because I'm getting anesthesia and I also do not like getting anesthesia because it gives me PTSD from when I was a child and all the times that I woke up feeling nauseous. I don't know if I've ever actually said this on this channel. I've probably mentioned it in passing. I'm not too sure to be honest, but I was born with a tracheosophical fistula. Tracheosophical fistula, which essentially means that my esophagus and my like windpipe were connected. So I popped out of my mom and my dad was holding me and he noticed that I was like breathing kind of funny and I had a little bit of drool and he took me to the you know the doctors and the nurses and was like something's not right so they did whatever they did saw this and then repaired it right away but essentially it just makes it like there's there's technically there's like a valve here is what how I can describe it there's a valve here that it's like a flap <laughs> and it's supposed to stay closed but because mine has like scar tissue and all that fun stuff I don't know I've just always had like troubles with food or like swallowing following food. I have a thing where food gets stuck right here. So it's not like going to my stomach. It just sits right here and not to be gross, but sometimes I can burp it up and it goes back in my mouth. But you know, that's not supposed to happen, but that's just a thing that's gone on my entire life. I just feel like I've noticed more recently when I'm eating and by recently, I mean like within the last like five years, when I eat, I like have to drink something like at least every two bites to help like push the food down. I got like esophagitis in 2022 and then I almost got it last year and I almost got it this year, but I did the whole like two week omeprazole thing just to nip it in the butt. So yeah, they're essentially just gonna look here and like see if there's any damage from like acid reflux. Cause obviously with the valve like not working, acid can come back up more easily. I've had issues with that. Thankfully I've never dealt with like heartburn, but I have dealt with like other acid reflux symptoms. Weirdly enough though, it's not like triggered by any sort of specific thing. I think just because it is, it's due to a broken throat and not any like digestive issues. So they're going to stick the tube down, look at that stuff. And then also if needed, which I feel like they're going to do it, they're gonna like put a balloon, whatever in here and like stretch out my esophagus because over time the uh, scarring and the acid reflux and all that fun stuff probably like tightened it. So fun times, you know, just another day in my life. Why can't I be as relaxed as you? You never have any problems. Don't side eye me. All right, I'm pooped and I don't have anything else to talk about or say. So I'm gonna go take a bath. 